I don't care how many dollies this guy has thrown through a bus window, or how many old men have felt his straight left to the side of their dome while minding their own in a pub. No one can deny that this man, nay, this ape, is an ape. I mean, look at his chest. The proof is plastered across his tight little pectorals. So how did Conor McGregor go from taking welfare money in his 20s to becoming the highest paid athlete in 2021? Let's explore what Conor did to become the primate that we all know and love. Way back in the early 2000s, an unknown Conor McGregor was an apprentice plumber for a year before deciding it was time to pack up the job and chase the dream. Now a full-time fighter, he began clawing his way through the amateur circuit. Watch a young, fresh-faced Conor back in 2008 proclaim that he would be top in the world. I will, I will be one of the top in the world, no doubt. Man, knowing what we know now. If that doesn't send a shiver down your spine, you probably would have gotten along with this guy fantastically as you both recounted your complete lack of emotion you felt while doing whatever it is you people do. Anyways, after that interview, Connor went one and one, winning a bout and then losing to fellow future UFC fighter Joseph Duffy by arm triangle. Keep in mind, he'd quit his job at this point and was pouring his whole heart and soul into this. He'd burned the metaphorical ships and that loss could have been the death of a dream to any non-ape it probably would have been. Not Connor though. He went on to win his next eight fights in brutal fashion before joining the UFC. His UFC run would be similar in terms of violence with mostly ups and just a few downs. Connor won several titles and is directly responsible for four out of the five highest selling UFC pay-per-views, including the top event in UFC history, which sold 2.4 million pay-per-views. He dared to dream big and he moved to boxing to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr., resulting in a loss due to early stoppage. In fact, it's widely agreed that most of his losses were due to early stoppage. Despite the setbacks, Connor pursues his dreams with a relentless passion which have taken him beyond fighting. We all know about proper 12 whiskey. Well, everyone except Khabib, that is. I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I never drink. He's even dabbled in the fashion world, proving himself to be an extremely savvy businessman. His successes are on another level. So how exactly is it that Connor has transcended his humanity, going from poor kid from Ireland to world famous ape? The answer lies within a quote by another UFC great, George St. Pierre. He says, The key to effective visualization is to create the most detailed, clear, and vivid a picture to focus on as possible. Before Connor is in any given situation, he's already pictured it extensively. I've visualized everything. I've visualized this conversation. I've visualized the walkout. I've visualized everything going on. I know I, know I have shots picked out that I'm going to throw in this fight in five weeks. You know what I mean? I, I've seen everything in my head, and now... It's going to happen. You see it in your head, you're going to see it before your eyes. That's what I say. He applies this approach to every fight he has. But more importantly, he's applied it on a macro scale to his whole existence. Let's revisit our young friend, Connor. My dream is to be world champion, world lightweight champion in the UFC. Have more money than I know what to do with. And have a great life for my, my kids, my grandkids, everyone in my, in my family. Everyone that's, that's come up with me. Even as a juvenile lad, he had a clear vision of a great life for him and his family. And what he would accomplish in his career. The cool thing is, he truly believed it. Though the camera crew was hearing his declaration of future greatness for the first time, this was probably the thousandth time Connor had heard it, as he'd repeated the same tale to himself over and over and over. This became a theme throughout his career that manifested itself both in word and in action. The hours and hours spent envisioning solidified into a firm belief that he truly was the king. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so pre precisely. And it's upon that steady foundation that Connor has tapped into his inner ape and built himself a dream life. Listen to how detailed Connor would get when practicing his ability to visualize. I practice it. I used to drive, we used to drive, um, my girlfriend, we used to drive to a food place in like a shopping mall in Ireland and it was a very busy shopping mall and I'd all, like, I would practice like little parts of it. Like when, when we were driving into the shopping mall, the car park, I would always visualize that the car park space right at the front door would be empty for me. Remember people, this is a skill that is available to the masses, to you and me, not just some elite few. Connor practiced his visualization consistently and like a muscle, it got stronger. I reached out to Connor and I asked him if he could do some visualization on behalf of Ape Tapes, this channel. Fortunately, he obliged. Let's see what he has to say. One day Ape Tapes will be the largest channel that ever graced the web. It'll be bigger than my own legacy. It won't stop at just a, a, a channel. It'll be in every home. It'll be a, a, a household 
fucking brand. Never forget, losers focus on winners, and winners focus on winning. So the loser that made this video can crawl back down whatever hole he scurried out of the fucking little rat, ya piece of- Oh wow, alright, I'm gonna cut you off there, Connor. That changed tones towards the end there a little bit, but I guess- The double does what the the power of visualization is real. Connor is walking proof that even the lowliest of apes can experience massive success in whatever field they desire. It takes consistency, it takes discipline, and it takes work. But the more we obsess over our detailed vision, the more it crystallizes into reality, and the more power we will have to be consistent, disciplined, and willing to work. Mr. McGregor, we thank you for your ape-like example. I would urge all the apes out there watching this to practice some of that Connor visualization yourselves and start creating your dream life. And please remember, if you or a loved one you know suffers from ape ectile dysfunction, please direct them to this channel for immediate relief. Thanks for watching.